ones who act actually block military ballots, but then falsely accuse the other side without any evidence whatsoever of suppressing black voters. We are the ones who publicly declared that President Bush delayed the federal response to Hurricane, Hurricane Katrina because he's a racist. With utter disregard for the abominable lie it was, and also of the untold damage it would cause to race relations. We aren't the ones who aren't honest about our beliefs, fearful the voters would reject us outright if we were. We aren't the ones who are using government money we don't have to fund community, community organizing groups to manipulate the census, gerrymander districts, and register illegal voters by the thousands, perhaps millions. We aren't the ones who consciously employ sinister tactics of radical Saul Alinsky to target, freeze, and demonize private citizens who dissent from our policies. We aren't the ones who selectively suppress freedom of speech. We aren't the ones who want to eliminate secret ballots or union membership to intimidate workers into joining, into joining the union and then have the audacity to call it free choice. That one is just unbelievable. And we aren't the ones who oppose vouchers to keep inner city minorities trapped in inferior schools while pretending to be their caretakers and while sending our own children to the privileged private schools. We aren't the ones who want to reverse welfare reform to endear ourselves to voters despite its proven successful track record. We aren't the ones who have heretofore obstructed entitlement reform and cynically denied there was a problem, though Social Security and other entitlements are on the brink of bankruptcy, now even more accelerated than before. We aren't the ones who believe it's kosher for judges to twist the Constitution into saying whatever judges want it to say. We aren't the ones who insist on nationalizing health care instead of implementing market reforms in the face of over overwhelming evidence that socialized med med medicine excuse me, is, a over is a disaster everywhere and every time it has been tried. We aren't the ones who glamorize the world's tyrants and dictators and minimize the conditions in their countries, their thugocracies. We aren't the ones who ignore the verdict of history that socialism destroys the human spirit and cannot work in the real world, assuming it would be desirable if it could, which it would not. We aren't the ones who believe in unlimited borders and universal amnesty for illegals, all for the purpose, mostly for the purpose, of buying votes. And we aren't the ones who believe government should be the primary arbiter of philanthropy in the United States. But we are the ones who want, and this won't be as long, we are the ones who want to restore constitutional principles, knowing we owe our liberties to the uniquely structured government and the Judeo-Christian principles undergirding it. And we are the ones who favor a strong national defense. We are the ones who believe in the individual and want to unleash his entrepreneurial spirit and provide an equal protection under the law. We are the ones who do recognize evil in the world and insist on safeguarding our national sovereignty and in a robust national defense. We are the ones who want to protect innocent life in the womb. We are the ones who defend traditional values, values that have withstood the test of time and been instrumental in making this the freest and most prosperous nation in the history of the world. The bottom line, folks, is that we must wake up. We have to quit trying to make the GOP Democrat like. 60% of Americans consider themselves conservative. We need to thus return the party to its roots. Quit kowtowing to political correctness. Just art articulate mainstream conservatism. Stand up for our beliefs unapologetically like the left does. Quit allowing the left to define the terms of the debate. The other side recognizes it is in a war. When are we going to start recognizing it and get back in the war with them instead of rolling over?
chew on. We're going to now <laughs> eat our meal. Thank you, David. And uh, we'll, we'll eat for a few minutes, and then we'll hear from Senator Coleman. Thank you.